creating a new theme in ServiceNow in one minute. It's finally here, Theme Builder, new in the Utah release of ServiceNow. Let's take a look at it, go. So let's open up Theme Builder. And we get to a nice splash screen here where we can read information about this new Theme Builder. Let's go ahead and create a theme. You'll need to have some assets ready to go, such as a company logo and some colors that you want as part of your scheme or as part of your theme. Continue. Uh, we'll give it a name. And go to next. We'll need to define some basic colors here, such as the primary color. So I will make that purple. Go to next. I have a secondary color here ready to go as well. So we'll put that in. Next. And then finally a neutral color. I'm going to leave that as the default light gray there. Next. You can add some other custom colors if you want to, if they are part of the, the theme that you want to have for your instance. But I'm just going to leave that as it is and click on next. Okay, now I'll select my logo. Okay, we can see the logo applied already. Next. We have a little library here of fonts that we can apply throughout our theme, throughout our instance. I believe that later more will be added, but we'll just leave it for the moment as Source Hands Pro. You can go through and click them and get a preview of what they all look like. So next. We can even decide how rounded or not our menu items are and our buttons, etc. from square all the way down to most rounded. So I'm going to take less rounded and next. All right, we've got a review page here. Let's go ahead and create our theme. And now we've got a preview page here. We can review certain design elements in our theme and we can also just go straight ahead and apply that theme. Okay, so now if I come back to my first tab here and refresh it, it'll take a little while to load. And there you have it. My theme is now complete. Okay, so like all themes, you should test to make sure that every element that you're going to be using in the instance actually looks and appears as you wish it to be. If you come back to Theme Builder, you've got the ability here to make some changes right here, including what we've just defined in that little setup, uh, such as the different colors, the font, etc. And if you come across uh, up the top here to color, you can see not only what colors are part of your color palette, but if you click on each of these arrows, you can see where they've been applied and what derivative colors have been gotten calculated and also used as part of your theme. Okay, using that basic color palette that you've defined. And you can actually come here and actually change colors individually if you want to. Okay, so that's it. That's how you go ahead and create and apply a new theme in ServiceNow using Theme Builder. This is an initial version of Theme Builder, so you'll need to do some testing, as I mentioned earlier, and just to make sure that all the components in your instance are looking the way that you intend them to look. You can quickly see a preview of the different pages in your instance uh, right here. And if you go to Experience Preview up here, you can actually load pages live uh, as they would actually look in your instance just to make sure that everything is working as designed. Now, as for the colors, you do get a selection of different items in your theme that you can manage here on the left-hand side. And, but this is not all of them, okay? There are over, well, there are hundreds actually of uh, elements uh, that reference different um, cascading style sheet styles and colors. And you only get a subset of what you have here. But essentially you don't need to use that old color builder that we had published earlier, although that is still now or available now in a new form. Okay, <laughs> so it used to be that, uh, and in a previous video, we talked about this, uh, the color generator. 
it used to be offline, it still is actually, or that old page. But if you come in that URL back to the main page here and come to the menu colors and then go down to color generator, Algo version one, this is the newer version of it. I've tried this a little bit. It still generates the JSON that you want. So you can come to auto generate and put in your colors here, click on generate and then go ahead and copy the JSON uh, and then put it in that theme. But I'll be careful with that. Test it, compare what you've already got in your theme that you've created with your colors with what is generated here because it's not quite the same. Do your own testing. All right, so if you come to your themes record here, we can see that the theme that we created is here, Purple Haze. So if we open it, there is still the color style, just like we had before in previous releases. And you can see here, there is a reference here to different design elements and colors and so forth. You can edit this, as you can see. You can also copy over the JSON file or the code from this color scheme into here, but be careful. These are actually two different formats. If you copy this, put it into a text editor and compare it with what's generated here, it's slightly different, at least now, at the time of recording this video, okay? So as I said, do your testing, make sure that what you've got is working for you. Uh, but I think for the moment, you can just leave it with Theme Builder because that gives you actually plenty of options here to go ahead and change different colors for different parts of your instance, okay? And actually, there's no real need uh, unless there's some urgent necessity to go on ahead and change colors here. Maybe there's some object here that's not in Theme Builder, but you can decide for yourselves, okay? One thing that I wasn't able to do or find how to change is to change the navigator or the application navigator here background to a darker color. So by default, it always seems to be white. And I thought I identified the right CSS element to change the color for, but when I tried it, it didn't work. Anyway, um, I think Theme Builder works fine as is. Uh, if you look at the recordings that we've done uh, on other YouTube channels from ServiceNow, from the team that actually produces this, uh, they mentioned that there's going to be further enhancement to this in later releases. And remember, this is a store application, so you won't have to wait every six months for a major release of the ServiceNow platform. Uh, there will be enhancements coming uh, here soon enough. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time. Bye.